Hi guys, it's me from Crafts, Names, and Things. I have another really cool quick DUI that I want to show you how to make. So today we're going to make um, feather and jewel hair pins. Okay, so these are really cool. I actually saw these at the dollar store and I was so excited because as you guys know, alligator clips are very expensive. So you get a whole package of these at the dollar store if they have them in stock. So I'm going to show you how to make them. So for this craft, you're going to need those clips or you can use alligator clips. And um, you can just get those at a craft store at a dollar store. And then um, I kind of like to save all my broken jewelry. So as you can see here, I have some jewels. Um, I have this beautiful bracelet that I used to have that had all these beautiful jewels in it. So um, that is what I'm going to use to decorate it. And then over here, I also have a package of feathers. So let's get started. And you're also going to need your glue gun which is right here for me. Um, yeah, let me see if I can move it a little bit. Yeah, so you can see it better, okay? And then, so all I'm going to do is select the feathers that I want. Um, you can be as creative as you want. I think maybe that I am going to make um, a couple here. So maybe I'll make one um, that's very colorful. I'm trying to see if I have a purple feather that will kind of go with that one that I showed you before, but it looks like out of all the feathers that I have, I don't have purple. So we'll I'll just have to improvise here. So um, maybe we'll just start with another one first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a feather. Um, you want kind of the smaller ones um, work out a little bit better, but if you need to cut like the bigger ones in half, that's fine too. Um, so I think I'm going to use blues. Okay. So we'll do those. And then I'm just going to grab my binder clip. Okay. And then right here, I'm going to put just a bead of glue. Just right at the end here. Sorry. I need a glue stick. That's why stuff's not coming out. Oh. Let me do it on this side. So the side that you clip is the one that I'm working on. Okay, so we're going to take that. We're going to add some glue. And I kind of want it to stick out. I want my feather to stick out a little bit. So let me see here. We want to work fairly quickly. So I probably should have picked out my feather before. But I'm just going to set it on there just like that. You might have to apply a little bit more glue if you were like me and you didn't do it quick enough. And it might be actually a good idea to put a piece of paper between so it doesn't stick together. But I do not think of that. So actually let me grab a little piece of paper here. So this is just an old card. So that's all I'm going to do is just set it on top, okay? And then I can kind of reposition that where I want it. Okay, hopefully you can see me and if this doesn't have enough light, I will lighten it up for you so you can see it better. Okay, then we're going to put a little have bit of dog glue there, just like that. And I'm going to add a couple more feathers. So I think I'm going to add a white one. But you get the gist. You're just going to kind of decorate it the way that you want. So, so I'm just going to lift it up and we'll add another feather on there. And don't worry if it goes over, we can just chop that off at the end. We can cut it off. Okay? And then that's just a, one that I cut off early. So I'm just going to put a little bit of bead of hot glue. And we're going to stick that on there as well. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to get the jewels that I would want to use. So I'm just going to set this in between just like that. Okay. And you 
can kind of select um, whichever kind of drills you want. Um, I think that I'm going to go for maybe whites and blues. Maybe that one's pretty too. So you can kind of select which ones you want. So um, I see a blue one here, so I can use that. And kind of take whichever ones I like. Maybe I think I'm going to do that one, which is just your basic square one. I'm going to put that down like that, just um, perpendicular. And then see if I can find some. Oh, look at that. And there's a pretty little flower. So I think I'll do that one. And then I'm going to try to find another clear one if I can. For another square one. Okay, so let me bring this up a little closer so you can see what I'm doing here. So this is the design that I'm going to have. So I have a jewel there, a flower. That's what the flower looks like. And then I'm going to do just your regular standard square bead. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm just going to grab my glue gun and I'm going to position the jewels where I want them to be. These are just basic plastic little gems. Okay. So they're not expensive, they're super cheap. I think I got a whole like whole little package of them at a local dollar store. Not like Dollar Tree or anything, but just like the the other ones that you see, but they had all these little jewels, and I thought, how oh, cute are those? So, do that just like so. Okay, so um, that is our first clip done. So, look, you have a really pretty little clip that has jewels on it. Okay, and I'm gonna make another one. I think this time I will do, I'm gonna try to do that. Try to see how I can incorporate that pretty purple one that I showed you. It has um, such significance. When I was little, I had a big brother, big sister. So um, we're still in touch, but I had a, a big sister. So I definitely, this is the brace. She brought me this beautiful bracelet. So um, it's like one of those gifts that has so much memories and love in it. So. I couldn't bear to throw it away, so I'm so glad that I get to reuse it. That one looks a little better. Some of them are missing a little bit of jewels, but that works. Okay, so I think I'm going to do white and black. So I'm just going to grab some feathers. Like I said, if you need to chop them off, you can. Okay, so we'll do our pretty white one first, just like that. Kind of want to, you don't want it to stick to the paper, so kind of move it around a little bit too while you're while you're at it. And we'll add our black one. Make sure you lift it up a little bit, just so it doesn't stick to the paper. Okay, the black is pretty too, so we'll just put a little black one right there. We'll just stick her on there. That looks pretty to me. Okay, then I have my jewel, so I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to use that one, both of which came off the bracelet, okay? And I'm just going to glue them on. But imagine you can make tons of these, and it doesn't take very much time at all. And if you wanted, you could, you know, stick these on with, like, the E60. That might make them last a little longer, but hot glue is my friend, so that's what I'm going to use. Okay, make sure you open it because you don't want it to stick. Okay, all right, just like that. And now we're going to add this little guy, so these little twin ones that I have. And be careful with the hot glue because it burns if you burn yourself, like I just did. Okay, 
And then if you wanted to, you could add, there's, I'm just going to add a little bit of white. So I'm going to take a feather and just cut off the very edge. And I want to stick one right there. So you can make these kind of as, you know, as full as you want, or as not full as you want. You can kind of do your thing. It's kind of your creation. So you can use all the little jewelry that you have all the extras that you save. Hopefully you save your broken jewelry because you can always use it for different things. I also like to use a lot of um, my jewelry for art journaling. Okay, kind of don't want it to cover up the jewels so I'm just going to do it like that. And a little piece of blue feather there so hopefully that will come out. If not then you'll just have a touch of blue. Okay, so that's how that one looks. So hopefully you can see that, but it's really Hi pretty. everyone, so I wanted to show you how they turned out. So here are our little feather bejeweled little pins that we made. So that's the jewel that I had from a bracelet that my big sister got me. And then um, that's just some purple jewels. And then this is the pretty blue and white one that we made. Okay, so I'm going to show you what they look like in my hair. You just clip them on there. Super cute. Okay, so let me bring you up. So this is the blue one. Very cute. Hopefully you can see it pretty well. Okay, and then let me show you the purple one. So there's the pretty blue one. And then here's the purple one. Or the black and purple. So it's really pretty also. There we go. So it looks totally cute and I love it. So they're really quite beautiful. Kind of old-fashioned and vintage too which I love. So you can do that, you can add buttons, you can kind of do whatever you want. So please um, be sure to like and subscribe my channel and I will see you next time for our next DUI. So um, remember I post a video every Friday so please keep your eye out and um, if you sign up then you'll know when I post another cool DUI. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this one and I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.